What is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen it is that time of the year it is that time to break it down we haven't actually done this in a really long time here on the channel I'll be honest with you it's been a long time I think since we've done this specific style of video but with the hundred plus I don't know the actual number okay I don't know how many actual WWE figure reveals or actual like action figures we know of that were you know shown off to us or that we know are on the horizon or whatever the case is I don't know what the exact number is from this past weekend mania weekend where we got the superstore reveals we had the wwe.com reveals we had the mattel design center reveals we had things leaked on live streams we've had so many action figure reveals that it is time to do problems with upcoming wwe action figures i went through every single figure i wrote down i cross countered just checked every single figure and i think i've gotten my list compiled of what you know everything i don't like but we are gonna dive into every single figure figure eventually but today we're just going to cover the problems or the ones that are glaring issues or just the things that stood out to me over all of the action figures and these things are going to come up again when we actually break down every figure individually and there's so many action figures that I don't know if I should just do it in one very very long video or if I should break it down by action figure you know ultimates in one video elites in another video and then basics and whatever else is in another video thought about doing that as well but anyways man let's dive into my problems with upcoming Coming WWE action figures for this year and what we saw from Mania Week. Lots to get through, man. You know, some of this stuff can be very egregious to just very lighthearted, and I will obviously cover that, and I'll give you the details on what exactly I have an issue with and all those different things, so we'll get into it, but nonetheless, man, let's shut the hell up, get into it, and dive into problems with upcoming WWE action figures. So for me, man, well, let's start off with just Elite Series 102 here. You know, it's not like uh, egregious, but they're just certainly... Uh, overly cartoony, man. Getting into Elite Series 102 Austin Theory, I think these figures look great. I think the head sculpts are just very wild, right? I mean, they, they're not just, I don't know, they just aren't my style, you know? They're overly cartoony. They're a bit odd, you know, the, they're, they're selfie faces, and I just think that they kind of, they lean more cartoonish and more overly done and not as realistic as, like, true effects usually are. And then, like, the one where his mouth's open instead of, like, the, you know, the sort of reaction face, like, I don't know, he kind of looks like a TV host or something, and I, I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm not a big fan of these head sculpts. I think his last head sculpts, even his basics, are much better. It's definitely a head swap that I'm going to do. I just, I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. I love the cell phone accessory. I'm not going to get into, like, everything about the figure. I think the figure from the neck down is pretty perfect, and I don't know. I like that they're doing something different. They attempted it. It's just, I don't know. It's just not my cup of tea. Speaking of wild expressions, man, the Sami Zayn Elite 102 figure, very similar deal. I just feel like it, I don't know. It just looks a bit odd. Like, the eyes are... You're getting, like, this weird mix of cartoony and realism. And I just think that this is something that... Uh, it just looks a bit odd. I don't I don't know. I just feel like it's very hit and miss. I love the beard sculpt, the hair sculpt. It's just the expression that he's doing. Almost looks video game character-like. And that's kind of what the Austin Theory vibes are giving me as well. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting there. The, the, the Elite 102 has some very weird things going on with it. But I'm going to break all of it down. Getting into the next figure, which is another figure from Elite 102. We have Commissioner. Foley here. Not like a huge deal here, but the painted on shirt of the torso is very odd. I guess I like it better than just having a rubber insert over it and then the sleeves on there, but it's almost like a tight fitted shirt. I think a cloth good shirt over. If you would have done this exact figure, but with skin tone as the torso and the arms and then thrown in a cloth good shirt underneath the cloth goods flannel, or maybe even a, I, I love the cloth goods flannel. I actually have a fix up idea for that guy. I think putting that on a Brock Lesnar would look sick as hell so that's something that I'd like to do but I don't know I, I'm sure the deco cost kind of ran out and things like that like I totally understand it it's just things that stood out to me it's a very odd choice especially when you consider Mick Foley like it does look it doesn't look as good as a cloth shirt with a cloth flannel over it or even just a cloth shirt with maybe even like the rubber flannel maybe would have been better but I do like I think I'd rather have the flannel cut off than the commissioner t-shirt cut off and this is one of the ones that isn't like egregious it's just something that stood out to me and I, I wanted to mention it here in the video. Next up is going to be AJ Styles and the render image. Now, I don't like to typically tear apart render images because most of the time, these are just computer, you know, render images and they typically change them by the time the figure comes out and there's different things here. But no knee pads on this guy and having that knee pad logo over the knee looks very odd. I'm sure this is something they'll fix, but also to add, you know, you have the beautiful Ultimate Edition formula. I think that would have been a great way to segment into a new torso for AJ Styles, but they've done it the same for so long, I guess they're just going to keep 
keep it going, which isn't the biggest deal. I like that we're finally getting a red gear AJ Styles. I just think the knees look a bit weird, and I'd love a different torso choice for the guy since the ultimate looks so damn good, but I digress. Here it is. I guess I can just torso swap an ultimate on here, or maybe, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes of that, but I, I like this attire. I like this AJ Styles. I just found it a little bit odd, and I wish the formula would upgrade, but I digress. This one is the big money one for me, man. Solo Sokoa. There's no way in hell you can look at Solo Sokoa and then think that this formula is okay. It's way entirely too skinny. I think that even the, like, the calves look really, really skinny here, and I don't like how you have that, like, thick shorts mold and then super skinny thigh. It just looks odd. There's no way that his thighs are that skinny, and you, you can just kind of see how, like, the skinny leg comes out of the baggy shorts there, and I just think it looks so odd. I, I really don't know how to describe it there, but this is way too small. Arms are too small. Torso's too small. It's way too, it's way too small. It is way too small. I'm sure it's something that they'll address, but this is one of the ones that got everybody talking. It's absolutely something they must change, and it's just, it's just ugly. It really is, and I, again, I think they're gonna change it. I'm hopeful they'll change it. It's just something that had to be addressed in the video, man. It is way too small for Solo Sokoa. I think that they could change the torso, they could change the arm size, and I don't know how much they can change on the legs, but I honestly feel like if they were to just give this guy Samoa Joe legs instead with uh, a change of maybe, I don't know, I guess they can't really do Samoa Joe legs. I don't know what the issue is there. I know that obviously he doesn't wear kick pads like Samoa Joe, so they'd have to like do some differences there. I don't know. It's just not my favorite deal here, man. I, I, I don't know. This is definitely one they have to change, but he had to be addressed in the video. Next up, we have the Monday Night War Scott Hall figure. Now, obviously, in the render image, he's got, got like some bell-bottom look going to it. And then when you see the grayed out render image, he has regular jean cut, which is definitely much better. And he is going to come with a ponytail head sculpt. But I think that they could have done something here with maybe the British Bulldog build a figure legs. I know it's they did address in interviews and like different things that they are going to look into it, but they were worried about his height. And I don't know, you know, I think that uh, I it, like it, I guess it just depends on what exactly the it, I, this looks like a newer leg mold on the British Bulldog figure. I don't know if they could put him in like shield lower legs and like what that looks like could you pair shield lower legs with the with the regular gene mold like would that even work you know there's, there's definitely things you can look at and kind of compare and just see if it works maybe these are things that they exhausted that you know just could not work or I, I don't know you know I don't know all the answers to these things but I definitely think that they should change it or at least look into changing it or maybe you could just get the British Bulldog and put the whole leg in there if it's on ball joints I believe that the British Bulldog will be on ball joints so maybe that's something you could easily change out but it's definitely something I wanted to address in the video. I know a lot of people were clamoring about it not being accurate, and that is definitely true that it's not accurate, but I did want to address it here. Another one that's very weird and something I don't have high hopes for, I'm actually really worried about this because I've seen it in the past, the Survivor Series Elite Shawn Michaels. The cowboy boots are way too tall, man. They're, they're way too tall. If you go back and watch, like, he's wearing regular cowboy boots during the matchup or, you know, like, regular style boots during the matchup at Survivor Series, and then here they've easily increase the length of the boots and made them way too tall and we've seen things like this in the past okay so if you were going to do the survivor series elite and you wanted to do the shorter boot mold like obviously we've seen cowboy boots molded we've seen it with hulk hogan we've seen it with cactus jack we've seen it before and it'd be a perfect mold they have the mold existing for cowboy style boots like hbk war at the event you could easily uh do like i don't know like a christian lower leg or one of those other lower legs that we've seen in the past, and then just put those boots in there. I don't know why you have to make it the same exact height as the Shawn Michaels, because the boots are not going to look right when they're extended like that. Like, they're going to be really odd, and that may be something, again, that they fix. They may fix that. I don't know, but it's definitely something I wanted to address in the video, because it's going to stand out. You're going to notice it, and again, we've seen this before with guys like Sami Zayn, you know, when he updated his formula, when they gave him the Sergeant Slaughter legs and they extended the boot mold, it made it less accurate. His boots aren't that tall, and it's just a bit weird, and it's something that I definitely want to see fixed, but we saw the prototype. Maybe they're going to change that as well. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how far they are. Apparently, they these are things that they could possibly change, but that's one that I don't see a lot of people talking about. The Shawn Michaels, they're, they're using, like, regular Shawn Michaels elite formula, and then when they get to the lower legs, they just plugged longer sculpted boots into a regular elite Shawn Michaels lower leg, and I just don't think that 
that works here. That does not work. They need to switch out the lower legs. And there's a plenty of lower leg molds that they can change. And I guess, like, it'll just depend on heights and stuff like that. But I know that it exists out there. And I guess it's something we could do on surgery if it comes down to it. But I'd rather it be fixed on the onset. Next up, we have Johnny Gargano. Now, in the render image, it does have Johnny Gargano syndrome. I got plenty of tags in that. Always appreciate that. But it does seem like in the prototype, when you, this is something also, guys, when you look at the prototype of this figure, I know he doesn't have knee pads on there, but I also feel like this looks weird. Like, without, uh, I think that the best kick pad mold they use is the, like, the old kick pad mold I think looks better. Like, the one we saw in the fan takeover Gargano, the one we saw in the NXT takeover Finn Balor's of the past. I think that kick pad mold works better in these instances than what we're seeing here. It just looks so thick and you have that big gap, but I guess, I don't know. You know, it's just things that remain to be seen, but I think this looks odd as well. Like, I don't think Johnny Gargano Syndrome is going to happen on this figure, but I think this also looks weird, especially without knee pads. You put knee pads on it, it's probably not as noticeable, but it's something I definitely wanted to address in the video. Next up, we have Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle. This guy's, he's just way too big, man. It looks like they honestly used a Batista, like, Ultimate Edition action figure and then just changed up some parts. Or maybe they didn't, but uh, I hope that this guy's not as tall as the Batista Ultimate. He just looks super massive. I think that doing a sculpted, like a, I don't mind the claw singlet. I actually think the claw singlet's the way to go, so you can pull down the straps like Kurt Angle used to do, but I just think that the, even, like, the Rick Rude torso, the Shawn Michaels torso on his fan takeover figure, there's just other torsos they could have used here that would have really made this figure stand out, and I, I, I've always thought that his elites were overly jacked. I think doing a singlet sculpt with, like, uh, you know, a semi-muscular torso underneath would be much better in the way to go than just this overly jacked torso that we get, but I don't know. His head sculpt also look weird. This is uh, like a 2001 Ultimate Kurt Angle, guys, is obviously a figure that I've been clamoring for on this channel for a very long time. It's something that was at the top of my wants list. And to see them execute it this way, I don't want to like completely crap on it and just get ultimately disappointed until we see it in its full, you know, proto images, like pretty near close to release time, because that'll be the ultimate, you know, measurement of if this figure is something that I want to get or something that is going to be a disappointment or not. I'm obviously going to get it, but I don't know. This is one that definitely disappointed me. The crying face is weird. I feel like the smiling head sculpt looks good, but then the like serious face also looks a bit odd to me, and I don't know. It just didn't really nail all the all the bells and whistles of a Kurt Angle 01 that I really wanted to with this ultimate. Next up, we have the defining moments Mankind. I just felt like his torso looks really massive here. I don't know what torso they used underneath, but he just looks so jacksy to me. I said that in like on multiple instances. This will be coming up when we review every single figure, but this is one that just looks Jaxie, man. Like, his torso looks so long. He looks super massive here. And even in the package, he just looks so big. His torso is so long here. And not necessarily that it just looks awful, but I felt like his older figures do a really good job of capturing his build and capturing his likeness. But this one here just looks odd. And I don't know. You guys can let me know. I want to know what all of you guys think about all of these, all the analysis I'm giving on all these figures. If you guys agree with some of them, if you think it's stupid. And actually something that I just noticed on this Defining Moments Mankind, you could use those lower legs on that Shawn Michaels Elite that's coming. If those browns are even close to, like close, you could easily put those Mankind uh, lower legs onto the Shawn Michaels and then pop some Cactus Jack ringside exclusive boots in there or repaint some Hogan boots or something. That, are, that should do the job, but I don't know. That, that's a whole nother subject there, but I just felt like the Mankind looked a bit jacksy to me. Moving on to the next one, we have some Ultimates here, man. We have the Ultimate Edition Randy Orton. I just felt like that, like, I love the figure from head to toe. We're getting the cloth hoodie. The, I, I felt like his tattoo deco even looks better here. You guys know that I love Randy Orton. I just felt like his mouth wide open head sculpt looks a bit weird. I've been clamoring for a, a screaming or pissed off Randy Orton head sculpt for a long time now, and I just felt like this doesn't really look pissed off. It just looks like his mouth is cartoonishly open open instead of like angry or pissed off like you'd see from a Randy Orton. I feel like it just looks like he's holding his mouth wide open like he's at the dentist. So that one kind of bothered me a little bit. It, it's not like a great, just like I said, but it's definitely something I wanted to mention. I, it just doesn't look angry to me. It just looks like he's holding his mouth open. And maybe even if, the, if there was some like sculpt in between his eyebrows or something like that that really expressed that anger, maybe that would look better, but that's just something that I thought of. And then we also have the RVD Ultimate Edition, man. The head sculpt that's on the figure, like right here in the glass, just looks weird. Uh, I guess, I don't know, it just definitely looks a bit odd. He kind of looks a little old. He's got like long space between his nose and his top lip. 
that looks a bit off. It kind of throws off the proportions a little bit. It just looks a bit odd. I like the other two head sculpts, the smiling head sculpt we've seen before, and then you have like kind of that derpy smirk of RVDs that I think really is captured nicely here with the Ultimate Edition. But the one on the head sculpt, I did not, or the one on the figure itself, I just wasn't really a fan of. But there is that one. And then moving into our last bit of stuff that I wanted to cover here in this video, man, we're going to talk about the greatest hit Seth Rollins here. And I actually interviewed the Mattel design team and I asked them about this figure. And I still think that maybe this is one they should have just left off the table in general, given that we've seen such a big formula change in Seth Rollins. Like, I could envision the perfect Seth Rollins from this era, and I think it's something they should totally explore, because you have gloves that are sculpted now for interchangeable hands. We've seen, like, removable gauntlets for his wrists. We've seen more accurate briefcases. The formula could be better. You could add chest hair. The head sculpts could be better. The legs, the knee pads are inaccurate. You could give him the vest. There is so much you could do to this figure, and I think it would be over-the-top insanity. So I feel like this is one they probably just should have skipped that on. I know, like, we're just addressing the figures. I'm not talking about in general releases, but it's something that come to, you know, that came into my brain. Also, you know, giving them the side plates, like SR side plates on the WWE Championship, it's definitely something they need to explore. I think it would be absolutely beautiful to do. And it's something that I'm just sitting here thinking about doing on one of my Elite 93 Rollins or something, because I think it'd be that, that sick. It would be so beautiful to do that it's something that's running wild in my brain now that I can't stop thinking about. So maybe it's something I need to explore. But this Seth Rollins right here is, uh, it's just, uh, I think it's, it's more of like us being disappointed with what we thought was coming rather than reacting to what it is. Because it is just a straight up re-release of a figure that everybody beforehand absolutely loved. But you gotta address the, uh, the elephant in the room, which would be that this figure could be so much better if it was given the updates. But it is something I wanted to address in the video. I asked them directly about this. It's something that they said, uh, you know, it would have to go into its own figure rather than a re-release. And so, you know, this is just something. But I definitely wanted to address address in the video. There's so many things you could do with this figure that would be insane, but finally, last but not least, man, we're getting into the Ultimate Editions that came with the crowdfunder. At the time of recording this, the Hulk Hogan's no longer on the table. The Hulk Hogan would not be happening. The only way we're going to be getting this thing at in what I see, we're at almost like 41% or something like that. We're like over, just over 2,000 backers at time of recording, and it doesn't look like most of this is going to come to fruition. You know, we've, we've discussed it at nauseum here on the channel, or not as much as I'd like. I'm going to definitely make probably one or two more videos about this crowdfunder and get into more details and things of that nature. But this Hulk Hogan was a miss from the beginning, I think. I just think that uh, if you were going to do an early bird, it definitely needed to be bigger. Even if it was Hulk Hogan, I don't really mind that it's Hulk Hogan. I just think it needed to be way more different than what we've seen from Hulk Hogan and his Ultimate Editions in the past. And then this Rey Mysterio, more than likely, if we get this 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 WCW Nitro stage, I hope to God we do because it's so beautiful, guys. And in, in person, it is unbelievable. It's something that I, I desperately want to see happen. But this Rey Mysterio with the stage is probably what it looks like we're going to get. I highly doubt we're going to reach 7K, 9K, hell, 11K just seems just way too far outside of the realms of possibilities. I guess anything's possible, but I just don't see that happening. So, like, the Ultimate Warrior and things like that, I just don't see taking place. But, uh, yeah, that those were just some, some problems there, obviously. I just think that if there weren't any problems with it, I feel like it probably would have been backed easily. Or it would have been closer to backing easily. I think that the numbers would be doing way better. Better. Had the figure been different than Hogan, I think if if a lot of the if maybe even if the Steiner was the 5K, the early bird, maybe if you know something like that, maybe if DDP was in jeans, maybe if there was some more deeper cuts or or something like that, I don't know, you know. But uh, at the end of the day. I hope we get the stage, and we'll have to address that at a later time. And we're obviously going to get into it in other videos here on the channel. Like, I plan on breaking everything down. Again, I want to break down every single figure that we saw and cover it like we typically do news videos and make it one long thing. But I'll either do one long thing, Ultimates, Elites, and Basics on their own, or whatever the hell you guys want to say. But before we get out of here, man, let's give a huge shout-out to our patron backers and for our patron backers we did have a couple new signups just the other day so a huge shout out to my man William House and a huge shout out to my man Titus Thompson for being the latest backers of the Patreon, man. Appreciate you guys so very much. If you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. I believe this month we are giving away an Elite 100 Rey Mysterio, and we're probably going to add to that. So if you guys are interested in something like that and the early and some other details and different things, different things you can sign up for there on the Patreon. Sign up for there on the Patreon, guys. Definitely go check it out. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. Said it again. I, I always do it twice.